Witnesses told Bartell they'd seen a woman answering Katie James's description in the company of Mrs. Fanny Norton. A What do you hear? Do you recognize that name, Mrs. Nor uh, Mrs. James? It's zooming in by itself. Shh, shh, shh. It's zooming in by itself. Mrs. James? Mrs. Norton is the woman who supposedly murdered you. It's okay to talk back. I, I think I might have heard you. Yeah. I'll just shine it right here. Okay. Mrs. James, if you'd like us to turn off the video camera, we'll respect your wishes. I'm gonna continue on. Just be real quiet because I thought I heard a voice. Okay. Okay. Witnesses told Bartell they'd seen a woman answering Katie James's description in the company of a woman named Mrs. Fanny Norton, a sullen woman of dubious virtue. Katie and Lula Bell and Mrs. Norton had spent the night with Mrs. Norton's brother-in-law, William Moore. The following morning, Mrs. Norton, with Katie and the child, had left the Moore home in a buggy heading in a generally northwest direction, northeast direction. That was the last time anybody, anyone saw Katie James alive. Mrs. Norton returned to Weatherford alone, returned the rig to the library, and took the next train back to Clinton, her hometown. Katie had evidently met Fanny Norton on a train from Custer City. Mrs. Norton probably boarded the train in Clinton. For unknown reasons, Katie gotten off the train in Weatherford with Mrs. Norton and agreed to spend the night with her at Moore's house outside of town. Little is known about Fanny Norton. During Susan Wolf's modern day investigation, she found evidence that Mrs. Norton was more likely a prostitute. Justin. What? I had a feeling I mean, we need to go down there. Huh? I think we need to walk down there. No, dude. We're, we're staying here. She'll come to us. She'll come to us, dude. Don't go in. No, let's keep on having that feeling. Huh? Get that out of my face, dude. Please. I'll be able to see. I'm in the car. I can read this. Why are you I... scared? No, I can't see. I'm going to roll down the window because I can't see to read. What do you want me to do? Just pan around? You want me to just pan around? Yeah. There you go. What? Put it on bright. Okay, okay Mrs. Mr. James. Uh, this was not about Fanny Horton. Fanny, she's okay. That only depends. someone like Fanny Norton. Detective Bartell followed the route the women had taken when they left William Moore's house near Big Deer Creek. He found a ranch rancher who had seen Mrs. Norton's buggy in a field near the creek. Later, according to Bartell's written account of the investigation, Mrs. Norton stopped at the farm home of Peter Bertie and left the baby with him. During the pursuit, she would pick up the child when she returned from her trip. Katie James was not with her. The child is Lily Bell. Her, her clothing and blanket were stained with blood when she was left with the pursuit. Martell returned to town and examined the buggy. This is what Miss Rennie. She found blood stains on the morning wheel. I 
This is James Spain, and I'm fixing to go out um, by the canyon, and um, I'm going to take the camera with me, but uh, we're going to try to see a ghost, and I want to ask the ghost um, if, uh, if, I, if they, she wants me to film, and if she doesn't, then I'll, if I get a sign, then I'll uh, turn it off, but for right now, we're going to walk down the canyon. Here I go. Hurry, dude. Mrs. James, uh, we're out here because we, we because we we respect you, and we want to, you know. There's a car coming. see me because I can't turn the light on because uh, they don't run the battery down or something but we, we, we were just recording down there and, we, and you know when it went blank th that's when the light we, we think the spirit turned the light off turned the camera off it might be unlikely because I think that the battery was getting low but you never know all day, I charged it all day but I think it might have been broke I don't know but me personally I wouldn't mind getting a shot of it. Yeah. But, uh. A bit of her. Her, yeah. But, uh. Yeah. It was experience. This is James signing off. For now. What's up? Justin, I want you to tell us about this story. We're about this. About tonight. Alright. My sister found this book in her library and uh hold up 